good morning. Um, it's quite a pleasant day today actually. Um, this weekend we have the girls staying so any chance of it being sort of nice and relaxed following last week's madness <laughs> not happening. So um, first, first things first is buy something for breakfast and then we're going to pick them up, we're going to go into queue, uh, we're going to make pizzas, the usual anarchy really which will ensue momentarily. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. This is a waving lizard. Hello. Wave at the lizard. Two hours a day of sleep for 22. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this monkey attached to me? 22 oh. hours. <laughs> Carry on. So what? Let's <laughs> welcome. Thanks. Oh, that's a good knock. So we've had a lot of Chinese food and now everyone's picking a bedroom. A couple in there and one in there. Where'd he go? He's on the wall. You're bubbling. <laughs> so the weather's taken a turn. Um, we dropped the girls back um, this afternoon and uh, we were going to go into Kingston but we couldn't be bothered because the weather turned rubbish so we've come home to watch lots of junk TV and do some online shopping instead. But now it occurs to us that we haven't actually got things to do, you know, make soup and have dinner. So I've actually got to go to an actual shop which is very old-fashioned and buy produce from there anyway we'll see how that goes by the way i have a task for you <laughs> i know it's not homework i promise it's very simple i very much appreciate the fact that you've come here and you've watched this video and i appreciate the fact that you may have watched more than one video that's very very nice and um i've had a lot of video views recently and i'm very much enjoying it um i hope you are too <laughs> and that's why you're watching it so my task for you is i would like you to share this with somebody who you think will also enjoy watching it. Um, so find some form of social media and tweet or Facebook away or share it on YouTube, some other YouTube channel or what have you. Um, that's all I really want, just a bit of awareness. If you could do a little bit of that for me, I'd be hugely indebted. I thank you. Good afternoon. Um, so today is a bit of board paper catch up day. I have a committee meeting um and a board meeting this week um we have dinner out tonight and i've got work in central london tomorrow and i think that's it for this week but it's a bit manic it certainly feels a bit manic anyway from my perspective so i'm still doing random bits of tidying up since the girls left you kind of every now and again you walk into a room and you find something like well, what's that doing there which is why i guess parents have to do that all the time constantly um so, but that was quite fun. That was a fun weekend, uh, if slightly knackered. So, this week, weather isn't going to be too great, so I don't know if I'll be outside much. We're going to try and make the most of it, though. Um, and I'm just putting work dates in the diary for March now, because we're nearly in March, which is terrifying. Quick mushroom update. Look at those. Aren't they ridiculous? They're really rather impressive. Um, so yeah, we'll hopefully be eating them very soon. There's still actually even more coming, which are uh, still creeping up underneath. But uh, yeah, very happy with that. So I've just started re-watching the thick of it from the beginning, which is, if you haven't seen it, is a UK political um, fake documentary, mockumentary, I believe it's called. Um, it's incredibly funny. It's on Hulu, if you have Hulu and you're outside the United Kingdom. Otherwise, it's probably on iPlayer somewhere. Um, it's very funny. It's much, much more interesting than actual politics. And uh, you're not left feeling a great deal of respect for politicians, but I 
don't imagine that most people really have a lot of respect for politicians, so it's not a huge problem. <laughs> um, it does sort of alert me to all the things that I dislike about politics and uh, and all the problems that we have currently. And obviously this year is the general election come May, um, which I'll talk more about near the time. Suffice to say, the only requirement I think that I have from you as a viewer is please vote. Um, don't vote because you think it make a difference. Don't vote because um, you think that it's some sort of magic power. Vote because you need to be engaged in the process. Um, because the process is horribly flawed. But if you're not engaged in it, we can't actually change it and make it more useful. Um, it's going to be a bit of a joke, this election, because regardless of the sort of uh, vote shares of different parties, it's not going to be reflected um, in the House of Commons. Uh, there's you know, seven parties who are likely to win seats. Um, but, you know, UKIP might be on 15% and get two seats. Uh, and the SNP might be on 4% and get 50 seats. <laughs> it's ludicrous. We have a terrible voting system. And hopefully this election will be a driving force to finally do some good and change it. Anyway, that's about all I have to say on the matter at the moment. This is good, isn't it? I'm really hoping this isn't going to cut me off. I'm actually getting where I'm going. The crows are wading and the ducks are swimming. The crows are pretty much swimming now. Um, it's uh, spring, so you're getting spring tides and uh, they're very high. And this road is very low. <laughs> uh, which is some of a problem, as you can see. There's somebody down there whose Jaguar is parked in the river, technically. Um, when you've got geese swimming up to your front door, that's when you need to reassess things. Just hoping I can turn right up here. If I can, I might just about get away with this. So far, so not drowned. The tide is coming in, so I am running a bit of a risk. Got away with it. So this is where I've been again today, in the studio at USP. Um, been doing more SDN sessions. Today with Rebecca Ferguson, the only thing similar to last week is Newborn babies seem to be accompanying all the artists that come in at the moment. Which is, you know, fair enough. I mean, what else are you going to do with them? Um, yeah, so it's been another day locked underground with no light. But uh, as long as you don't do this every day, you they don't become a strange sort of hermit who is sort of light-averse. Um, so hopefully I'm going to nip off in a moment. I'm going to go down to Vauxhall and pop into Webvid and see what's going on there. You know, nothing like two offices in a day. Good afternoon. So I have spent this morning at USP again uh, doing um, more ISDN sessions. The last couple of times I've been there have been the usual sort of pop star affair like my old radio days. Today was a bit more interesting. It was a PR one. So it was a Jan Martinborough who is a, a world endurance championship driver, British lad, uh, 23, quite young, who uh, got his opportunity through uh, winning... Um, computer games tournament put on by Nissan so uh, yeah very talented guys watch out for him I think there's big things to come um, but yeah that was that was good fun and now the weather's improved and this jacket's too big and I've got to go into Teddington for three meetings so yeah <laughs> it's gone from like a couple of quiet weeks to a very very busy one welcome to evening Teddington today's been a bit manic and I'm feeling quite tired it's been a good day, all in all. So um, the reason I'm walking is because the bus isn't for a while, so I'm just walking the bus route and you'll eventually catch me up. Uh, tomorrow I've got to go and pick up a parcel, which is very exciting, from the post office. It's one of two things, both of which I'm excited about. Um, and I have to read more board papers because I have another board meeting back here tomorrow evening. And what else? I've got to do something else quite important. It'll come to me. I'm sure it, it can't be that important. <laughs> Hilarious, I've just remembered what it is. It is reasonably important. It's this. I haven't actually put up last week's vlog. So yes, that needs to happen because it'll be Thursday and that's very bad. Bad me. I can only apologise. This is a week late. Um, so sorry for last week. Because I've been doing so much commuting today to, uh, to London and back and what have you, um, my headphone batteries are now dead, so I'm now just going to have to sit on the bus in silence, not making eye contact with anybody, and uh, no, that wasn't the bus. <laughs> and yeah, in misery for 40 minutes. 
I will consider that my karmic punishment for not having done last week's vlog yet. Well, today isn't quite as nice as yesterday. Um, I knew this was going to be the case because I had to come into town to pick something up from the post office. So the weather was inevitably going to be crap. So I thought, I oh, know, I'll cheer myself up. I'll combine it with buying some kimchi from the local Asian supermarket. Well, of course they're sold out, aren't they? Never mind. Onwards and upwards, vlogs to do, papers to read, and stuff like that. When the bus finally arrives. Hello. So, since last we spoke, um, some llamas escaped. Uh, a lot of people argued over the colour of a dress, um, and which none of which matters. Um, but one thing happened that was important, and that is in the United States, uh, the FCC has ruled that. Um, the internet should be treated as a utility, so to preserve net neutrality. Now, that's a phrase you've probably heard a lot, um, uh, but, well, maybe not at all, but, but, um, but you may not understand. The basic concept of net neutrality is the idea that all data on the internet is treated equally. That means it all goes down the same path, as it were, in terms of speed. So you don't say this data is more important than that data, so this stuff can go faster, this stuff can go slower. Um, some of the internet service providers wanted to be able to um, pick and choose which bits of data should go at which speeds, for business reasons. Um, that's never been how the internet works. They claim that that is the only way to create a sustainable business. Most people don't believe them. Um, and the American people, for once, actually spoke and the FCC listened. Uh, which is great. I mean, in Europe, you essentially have that already. Um, but in the States, it's always been a bit of a touchy subject. Um, companies like Netflix, for example, would find it very hard to compete um, or even exist if they were not for net neutrality, if service providers did not have to treat them the same as they did all other data. Because obviously, some of these service providers are themselves providing TV channels as well. So they want people... Uh, to view their content much more than they want people to view the Netflix content. So um, that's a good ruling. It's only temporary at the moment because obviously Congress can overrule it, but then, you know, the president can veto Congress. So this is, this is going to go on for a while. But it was one positive thing that happened. It did not involve any llamas. It did not involve um, any terrible photos taken of terrible dresses. So... You know, the world isn't all bad. So, welcome back to Sheen. We haven't actually been here since the early hours of New Year's Day. Um, but I figured it was about time that I went for a walk. Today's the best weather for a long time, and I haven't been to Richmond Park in a long time, so combining these two things, hopefully, um, will result in, you know, a nice walk. <laughs> no more complex than that, really. This is East Sheen Common. Um, which borders Richmond Park and there is a bowls club and a tennis club and three little cottages actually which are on the common but with only a tiny access road um, but there's no obvious other access into the park um, except wandering through the woods here so I might have to loop back and uh, if I don't get attacked by an angry badger and go back in the main entrance where I was going to go in the first place still very pretty. So this is the wall at the border with Richmond Park itself. Um, this whole common apparently, well the, the first part of it used to be an orchard which I presume is the bit where I came in by the cottages and the rest of this looks like this was just woodland that just reached up to the edge of the park but it is rather thick, <laughs> thick woodland. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where I'm going if I'm honest. That only took 15 minutes of walking on the inside of that wall, but we're here, we're inside Richmond Park. Now, I've bought the camera with the big lens and I'm hoping I might see some deer in the sunshine if the sun comes back out. It's ever so nice here. I've stumbled across a couple of streams. Uh, the problem is at this time of year that anything that could be a stream is. Uh, there's so much water that it's just um, a non-stop torrent. So I'm going to have to find a uh, bridge. So all in all, that was a very nice walk. Um, I just came back to some very sad news. Uh, Leonard Nimoy uh, died this morning, um, who a lot of you all know as Mr. Spock from the original Star Trek. 
Um, he's done a lot more than just that. Uh, and I recently watched him in uh, Fringe, which is an amazing TV series. He was a fantastic actor, a very, very down-to-earth guy from what you could tell. And um, even very philosophical, even right to the end. So... Um, Slightly gutted by that, um, and not the way I wanted to end the vlog, but nonetheless, can't really help these things. So um, I hope you will subscribe, and I hope I will therefore see you next week. Um, next week we will be... I don't know, it's a bit of a mystery. Join me and find out.